Uh oh. No! I hear a wolf! <laughs> I don't... No. I just want to get to the trapper's camp. I've run out of stamina. Ugh. You can hear it behind me. I'm so close, though. No, oh, get off of me. Okay. That's okay. I'll be alright. Let's just get to that trapper's cabin as quick as possible. I can't run because I'm injured. I'll just hobble over there as fast as possible. Okay, big ouch. I gotta take care of myself here. Sprained everything. In a lot of pain. You do have to put the bandages on, but you can sleep off the pain. I seem to have recovered fully. Oh. It's dangerous just going from cabin to cabin. It's a crazy, dangerous, cold freaking world out there, isn't it? So I made some snares. I'm going to put them out to try to catch some rabbits because I need more rabbit hide. Ooh, it's Aurora Borealis. I don't see any wolves or anything, so I think I'm okay to just go over here and just quickly put a snare out. So if you put a rabbit snare out um, in an area where you know rabbits spawn, which they do behind the trapper's cabin, then, you know, they can get caught in there and then you got yourself rabbit and you don't have to worry about throwing a stone at it or shooting it and wasting a bullet because that's just overkill all right i'm just gonna wait for a little bit and see if it gets caught right away all right it's light out now Anything in there? No. But there's also no rabbits around yet. So, I hear birds. Where is that happening at? They're just flying by. There was that wolf that attacked me that's probably dead somewhere now. Okay, so I've got the cured deer hide and the guts and everything. I am going to start working on the deer skin boots. So let's go ahead and work on that. 12.5 hours it's going to take. So I'll do it in batches. Like I'll do a little bit, go to bed, take care of myself, do a little bit more. And wear out a sewing kit. I'm just switching to a different one. You can also use the fishing, uh, what is it called? Fishing hook and line to do sewing. So if you run out of sewing kits or you don't have sewing kits, you can still sew. You just need that fishing hook and line. We're almost there. 3.48 hours left. Let's just get the rest done. Yay! Deerskin boots done. Let's put those on. Yes. They're so much better. And uh, check that off the list. Okay, rabbits. Any of you fall into a trap? Nope, sure didn't. Am I not putting this in the right spot? Are they just not around right now? Okay. 
Ah, oh, my old, the old pile of meat. 40% on the beer hi bear hide. I keep on saying beer. <laughs> uh. Well, we might as well make the trek back. It's a little bit snowy. Could turn into a storm. I'm a little bit worried, but also not. Uh, yeah, I, I picked up all my meat and everything from the trapper's cabin to bring back over to camp office. Home sweet home. And there's a wolf after me, because of course there is. Because of course. And then it's running in the direction that I need to walk. Because of course it is. Why wouldn't it do that? It's just going to stop and turn around and come right back at me. Yep, there it is. You're so predictable. Maybe I should kill it. You are in the way and I need you to not be in the way. Crap. When they zigzag at you and you can't get a shot. Ugh. All right, well, I gotta take care of my wounds. And it does not appear to be bleeding out, so that wolf, wherever it is, is not gonna die. Which means there's a good chance it'll come back at me again. Yay! Love that! Oh, what? Prince just disappear? Just... Gone. I guess there's nothing to track anyway. Oh, so slow. Hello! I missed you. I've been waiting for your return. Oh! And thus ends our interaction. Thanks for coming around. 0.02 liters. Mm. It was a good little sip of water. Alright, well. Since we're here, might as well take this stuff with us. Alright. I'm really racking up the pelts. These animals are just throwing themselves at me. There it is. That wonderful building that I love to see. Where is your favorite place to set up if you play this game? I really love Camp Office and Quonset Garage. So where are your favorite places? I'd love to know. I'm just going to drop all this meat here in front of the door. And here we are. I can drop my pelts that I have. Get everything curing again. Oh, that's the bear hide. No, let's move that. Let's move it over in front of the door like it's the carpet that you wipe your feet on when you come in. In total disrespect. <laughs> Okay, so I found that key and I decided I want to go over to the Carter Hydro Dam and open that lockbox. So let's go do that. I thought it might be a fun little adventure to head over there and while stuff is curing. It's a little bit foggy, but otherwise things look okay. All right, of course I'm followed by a wolf. Just stay back. Nobody likes you. You know, they don't always just attack right away. It takes them some time to catch up to you before they attack. So I might be able to just run away from this thing. Without using a flare or anything, it would be ideal. Oh. Oh. <gasps> it ran away. Because there's a moose. Did you see that? All right, well, 
Good for me. Okay, and then I'll just like close this gate. There we go. Ha ha! Take that, wolf. You and we're here. Let's go open that lockbox. It's a bit of a walk. Here it is. It did say that there was going to be MREs in there, so that is what I expect. And that is what there is. Three of them, which is excellent. Alright, let's go. That's all we needed in our fun little adventure today. Ooh, it's so nice out. Was there something dead right there? There are birds circling. Hmm. I don't really care. Look what I found! There's a moose! Thank you for spawning right here, moose. It makes this super convenient for me. Now, the moose is coming at me. Oh my god, run! The moose can't bleed out, so you have to kill it with the rifle or whatever weapon you're using. Ah! Uh, oh my god, I can hear it right behind me. Let's just give that a second before we go back out. It should, like, de-aggro after I'm in here for a little bit. Okay, let's see where it went. Where'd you go? Oh yeah, there it is. See? Okay, it's walking away. So we're gonna have to get the killing blow. I'm not gonna be able to like... I'm not gonna be able to wait it out. Hey you! Oh yeah. Butt shot. Is it coming at me? I could go to... Oh! No, it's running away. Okay, that's where it stopped. Ha! There's a wolf over there. Get lost! It's- it's scared of the moose. I run right back into it. It doesn't know where to go. Oh yeah, it does. It wants to come at me. Damn it! Why? Mind your own business. I'm just trying to get myself a moose today. What? Where is it going? Yeah, that's what I thought. Go back over to that moose and get double scared. Alright, will this be the shot? Oh. Okay, come on. Did I hit it? I don't even know if I hit it that time. Is running. Uh, you know, I think I might be able to get it from the other side of the bridge. Would be that would be really nice because then there'll be some distance between us, so I could get a little bit closer, maybe get a better shot. Mr. Moose, I'm going to turn you into a backpack or something. Or jacket. Probably the backpack first. Oh, that's a deer. That's a dead deer there. There it is. It sees me. It's mad. Oh, it was a hit. It's still not down, though. Hmm. Hey, bud. This is it. I want you. And then I want you to respawn in the exact location because <laughs> it's very convenient for me. Okay? A little too far away. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Did it! Got it. Alright, we got ourselves a moose satchel. Or cloak. Yes. Alright, take that hide first. That's super important. Uh, it's kind of cold. Oh no, it's warming up. Okay, excellent. Um, oh, of course. Are you kidding? This is my moose. Get away from it. Wow, that ran right at me. Okay, I want some meat, but I think I'm going to build a fire because I don't think the wolves attack when you have a fire going. And I mean, also, I could use the warmth and also I could thaw the moose. But I'm pretty sure it will provide some protection from the wolves as well. Come on, little fire. Keep you safe. Okay, and continuing on to gather meat from this thing. I mean, it's still nice out, and I'm pretty close to the dam. Seems like it's probably enough meat. I might come back for more, but for now, let's let's head back. It also just weighs you down so much. It's so close, yet so far away, <laughs> just to get to that truck. What's that? No! No, I wasn't prepared! Oh. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. No, I need to stop this blood blood loss immediately. Don't forget to apply that bandage if you have blood loss. The other stuff can wait for a little bit, but get rid of that blood loss immediately. Okay, let's go in here. Drop some stuff off. Heal. Take care of thyself. Alright. Alright. Might as well drop that, get it going. It's going to take a while to cure that hide. Okay, it's the next day and there's a wolf and I just want to head home, but surprise, surprise, there's a wolf. Oh no, I only have one shell left. That's it. This is my last one. That's too bad. I, you know what's really good though is that it's running in the direction that's away from where I need to... Is it coming back again already? Unbelievable. Yep, it's coming back again. Probably because I'm super stinky. I will kill you too, bud. This is turning into the wolf killing series. Animal clothing? No. Wolf killing. I don't even know if I need to come back for that. We'll see. <laughs> uh, I found some birch saplings, so I'm just going to pick these up while I'm here. Might be a good idea to start using the bow, actually. Eventually I would run out of ammo and I don't think I'm going to go make ammo as that's quite a process. Hello camp office. I've missed you. All right, let's throw down this uncooked meat. We can deal with it later. Yep, 
and eat something. I'm gonna need to make some water pretty soon. I also need to cook all this meat. I'm just gonna drop this wood beside the stove because this is the stove that I use more so because there's two spots to put uh, the cooking pots. When I play this game long term, I do like to gather a bunch of wood and have like wood stores and wood piles around the around my like cooking stoves and campfires and stuff. Okay, well, let's make the long trek back to the Carter Hydro Dam. I mean, it's it's snowing a little bit, but it's okay. It should be fine. Let's head over there and grab that wolf and maybe more moose. I don't know. But definitely get the wolf. The wind is picking up. I feel okay in this location. We've got those trailers really close by. Oh, crow feather. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna use you to make arrows. Yeah. We don't really need the meat. I have a, a whole bear and a whole moose to eat, so I'm probably okay for a while. And yes, it is storming again, but I can just make it up to these trailers fine. You definitely want to pick up that moose pelt. Okay, I, I need that. But I'm going to stay overnight, so I'm going to drop the other stuff. And we're going to sleep here, and then I'll take the stuff back tomorrow. Okay, I got my gear... It's pretty nice out. This light snow is fine. It won't necessarily turn into a storm. Very well could, but that's okay. We're just going to travel through it anyway. I think we're going to be all right. Oh, that sounds like a wolf got a rabbit. That sounds like I'm going to get another twofer. You mad? You mad that I'm close? All right. Actually really need the rabbit skins. The rabbit meat is pretty useless to me at this point. And then, hey, since we're here, so at my superstore, I could have a bunch of hides to sell as well. The, the superstore idea of... <laughs> oh no. It's storming. Um, the superstore idea of taking stuff from all the maps and putting them in one location. Like a... Like a long dark Costco. <laughs> Um, yeah, so stupid storm again, but I should be able to just head down here and then, um, come out at the lake. Yeah. All right, we're good. And I found my stones. Yay! The stone path for the win. I should just, I mean, I'm not playing long term, but if I was, if I was, I could just put them everywhere. Alright, let's drop some of this stuff. Cook that up later.
And I have a moose hide to drop. So it's really exciting. Having the moose hide satchel, which is a backpack, adds a plus five to your carrying weight, which is actually very nice. Like I said with the uh, well-fed benefit, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that much. Like, oh, plus five kilograms. But if you have both of those and you have the plus ten, it is excellent. I'm going to add my MREs to my food collection. Yeah, looking good. All right. There we go. Looking nice in here. Stinks, probably. <laughs> so let's see if we can work on some stuff. I'm thinking about making some arrows and using the bow and arrow for rabbits and wolves instead of using all my ammo on the wolves because you really actually need the ammo for the bears and the moose. So turn these saplings, these cured saplings into arrow shafts and then I've picked up arrows so you can break them down and use the arrowhead to make more arrows with uh, crow feathers. And then I also will need the bow. So there we go. I got myself another weapon. It's another Aurora Borealis Knight. I've come outside to read. Oh, where's my meat? There it is. starting to get really stormy again so i have the cabin fever thing on and my cabin fever risk is really high and so i need to spend some time outside i gotta tell you i really dislike the cabin fever i understand it i get it why it's a thing but i kind of hate it <laughs> so now i have to build a fire outside and spend a bunch of time out here which I don't want to do, but it is what it is. So I'll build a fire here. Just trying to maximize the uh, wind, maximize the location to block the wind. The nice thing about the Quonset garage area is that when you're starting to get cabin fever, you can just go hang out in a car because it's right behind the building, but there is no car here. So I will have to spend time outside by this fire. Oh, hey, wouldn't let me put it on the fire because it wasn't completed. That's good to know. So yeah, we just need to hang out here for a long time. I could go over into one of the fishing cabins, which I'm probably going to do. Sounds like a good idea. Huh. And it can take a while to get your cabin fever to go back down. See what I mean? Like, I've been out here for hours and it's gone down by 11%. My brain has an exclamation mark on it. Well, I guess you do have to take care of that mental health as well, don't you? Just really hard to do when you're all alone in the middle of nowhere in the winter. Yeah, so going to a fishing hut, I think, is a good idea. I'm going to need some wood, though, to, to keep the hut warm. All right, I've got a bunch of wood. I decided to come over to this hunting blind. I've already been here. But I thought maybe I would try to get some rabbits. Which are kind of difficult to shoot with the arrow. The arrow is weird. But we're going to try. We're going to try this. Okay, stop, buddy. Stop moving. Stop. Please, make it easy for me. Okay. Yay! Rabbit hide.
I'll take this stuff back home. Get the eat, because I'm super hungry, and get the rabbit hide curing. Wow, I almost lost my well-fed benefit. Ugh. That was close. Should probably pick some of this up and keep it on my person from now on. All right, it's later that night. I still have cabin fever risk. It's not going away, so I'm gonna try to sleep outside. Oh my God, let me place it. It's kind of warm out, so. Let's sleep for a couple of hours, an hour, see what happens. Yeah, we're still okay. Cabin fever risk gone? Let's have a look. Nope. Ugh. Okay, so I went to bed, I woke up, still have cabin fever risk, and I am reading outside. To see if that'll help. Ooh, gunsmithing too. Excellent. I'm gonna gather some more wood again. Out by these cabins. The cabins on the lake, there's usually a lot of these big branches to get wood from. Ooh, hello there, wolves. Don't mind if I just slip in here. Yeah, I hear you. You're annoying. I know you won't let me forget it. I'm gonna put a bunch of wood in the cupboard. And I could really use this spot to deal with the cabin fever risk thing. In the future too. Yeah, it went back up a little bit, ugh. All right, let's just start a fire and hang out here for a while. Uh, yeah, I might as well just like, Prepare some clothes. Check on my condition of things. See what condition my condition is in. Failed. Just sew it. <laughs> it's mitts. Just get it done. Uh, where are they? Where? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Ugh. Two feet from the hut. Thank you for that, wolf. And they're like, we're always here to add some spice to your life. Oh, and yeah, and we're also trying to eat you. Alright, I got myself all healed up. Ugh. Okay, nope, not going out there. I've just decided that I'm just gonna stay here for a while. My fire is going. It's warm enough. Yeah, let's just go to sleep. The fire will stay lit in the uh, in the stove, so I don't need to worry about that. Not like um, out like there's no wind in here, so it won't get put out or anything. Also, I think you get a, I think I put on the feet where you get a bonus to your outside fire, and I'm pretty sure this counts. So you don't have to use as much wood. So this really should have gotten rid of my cabin fever. Yeah, it looks like it did. Okay. Excellent. And it's so nice out. It's so clear, and the wolves are gone. Look at this. This feels like a treat. The game doesn't treat you often. <laughs> Grab some meat. I have decided that I'm going to switch regions. That meat I left behind is going to be fine over there. And I want to go over to the Broken Railroad to see if I can find a moose there. So let's go.
Oh no. Oh no! Quick! We'll be safe in Forlorn Muskeg, the worst region ever! 